What's up guys? Okay, so this is going to be a quick video on what I use to back up my Arc server. So to be honest with you, I've actually used uh, the backups of this Arc server a few times. There were two instances that I had to restore my world and I was very thankful that I had a backup for it and it's actually pretty easy to do. Um, so basically, uh, one, of the, one of the scenarios was the Arc server updated and for some reason, when I came back into the world, my entire base, all my animals, everything gone, right? So my character wakes up basically dead and I thought, oh, something killed me, run back to my base where it was and there's nothing there. So thankful for um, the backup for that because I restored it, got my stuff back. The other time that I needed to restore some, uh, or restore my world rather, was when I was messing around with changing the island or the map rather, I guess I should say. And I changed the map from the island to Crystal Isles. And it worked really great one direction because there was nothing in Crystal Isles. And I thought, oh, this is no big deal. I don't have to worry about it. I can just switch this back and forth anytime I want. And when I switched back to the other world, for some reason, it didn't have any of my stuff still. Which is kind of weird because if you look at the saved world data, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So if I go look at Arc Server... And I go to Shooter Game, and then I go to Saved, and then I go to Saved Arcs. That's where the data is. You can see in here, these I've got all these ones that start with The Island. And so everything here that says The Island is um, related to The Island. And so when I switch it to Crystal Isle, all these files are still there. So I thought that, hey, if I restart it as The Island, restart the Arc server as The Island instead of Crystal Isle, and then it'll come back and it'll just start using these immediately, and, and I'll have all my stuff, but that's not the case. So apparently you cannot switch between maps with the same saved data, even though it's keeping it here. When I came back, all my data was gone. So I had to restore to a previous day. So I was very thankful that um, I had backups. And actually, I ran the backup manually uh, prior to me messing around with Crystal Isles um, because I, I had a feeling something wonky was going to happen with it. So... Okay, so basically the way this works is I back up this, this folder location and I just do a, um, a tarball of it. Uh, gzip and um, gzip tarball and um, and so it's pr it's pretty easy to do it and basically I have it run every night with a cron tab entry at 3 a.m. and uh, one of the benefits of that is it actually starts and stops my arc server so when you start and stop your arc server then it gives it a chance to automatically update so I don't have to update my arc server manually that often unless they put, push something an update right in the middle of the day and then in that instance I do have to manually update it but for the most part uh, the updates just happen between those um, 3 a.m. Um, backup jobs so if I go to cron tab dash l you can see down here I've got the backup script listed and, and it basically says at three three o'clock is the hour and any day any day month etc so it just iterates literally every single day three o'clock it'll run that script so basically, um, let me explain how I've got it. So I, this Arc server configuration, like literally how all the files are placed in here right now, is um, exactly how I build it in my video that I've got for installing Arc server. So you can follow that if you don't understand like the structure. Um, and you want to maybe do your own Arc server if you haven't already. Hence why you're probably here as you already have. But anyhow, so... Um, if you have your own Arc server installed in a different location, that's fine as well. So um, it's really just pay attention to where that Arc arc server data folder was that I just showed you a second ago this right here that's literally the folder location that you want to back up it's got all your characters and your world data and so I have it run every night at 3 a.m. as I showed you and I'll show you the script in a second and then I also at the end of that script it does a clear backup script and so let me show you that really quick so I can say actually it's just in here I'll just scroll down so basically it's a very simple very simple script and literally all it does is clear out the Arc server backups. And so it uses the find command, searches the backup folder where I store those backup files, and then it basically says list, find any files that are 30 days or older, essentially is what that dash m time plus 30 means. And then of all those files that you find, I want you to exec, exec the command, um, execute the command rm dash f for the array of files that are found. And so that's essentially what happens. And so if it finds anything that's older than 30 days, it deletes it. Which is really good because let me show you how big these files can be and um, you'll understand why you'd want to clear them out. So they're 95 megs currently each, 96. So um, obviously, obviously you can see there's a decent amount of changes happened in the last month. We, used, we started at 78 megs and now we're 96 megs of data. And I keep 30 days with as you can see there. Um, you can also see the one that I manually ran here. So I ran that midday and that's why it's not at 3 a.m. unlike all the other ones. And... Um, 
So basically those are my backup files. Um, restoring them is actually very easy as well. And um, essentially what you would do is you would extract it. Uh, XVF, I think. And you would want to extract this file. Um, I'm not going to run this because it will override it literally. And you extract it to the root because it's maintaining the folder structure inside of the file. So this would literally just start extracting a particular save into um, the, the previous location that it was, which is this folder here. Okay, so let's go over the backup file. Um, so what I did is I cr you create this folder here. So you're going to say make their backups under your, under your home Steam folder, or wherever you have your Arc server. And then um, you want to make a file called um, backup arc shell. It's a shell script, and um, that's pretty easy to do. You're just going to VI edit it, that thing. And then when you're done editing it, obviously you're going to have to add the execute um, attribute, or permission rather. And uh, so that's just chmod plus x on that file. And the backup is uh, its pretty hard to read. Sorry, that, that blue text is really hard to to read honestly so basically I've I've split it up into variables I've got what backup files you want like so what do you want to back up so this is the folder that you want to back up it's going to back up everything in that folder so you populate that with your your saved arcs folder and then pre and then the start of the backup file name so all my backup files start with arc server and then this is the destination folder of where I want those backup files to go this is a quick little script that runs or, cal or shows calculates shows whatever, creates the, the date, the current date, hour, minutes, and seconds of that, of like literally the current time. And so that's how it makes these files unique. And then the archive file, you literally concatenate all these variables together. So I'm going to say day minus backup file name, so arc server, and then obviously tar.gz, tar, tar dot tar.gz. And then I'm going to stop my arc server, and then I'm going to go ahead and run that command, uh, the tar command to back it up. So I'm going to back up. This is the destination path, which it's using variables that you've created up here. And then these are the backup files, which is literally this variable here. So destination is that variable. So this, this variable here, steam backup slash archive file. Archive files generated via these variables, like as I explained just a second ago. And that's how it creates the backup file with unique file name. And then um, the clear backups is that script I showed you a second ago that deletes, uses the find command, deletes anything that's older than 30 days or whatever number you want to put in there. If you want to keep more than 30 days, you can. If you want to keep less than 30, just change that 30 to 7 or 90 or whatever it is you want. And then when it's done with that, you start the Arc server back up. And uh, as I showed in my video for the Arc server installation, I use Arc as a service. And so that's why you would use system control start Arc. And so then you would say chmod plus x on backup shell, right? And, and then let's go look at that clear backups again. So clear backups, you would do the same thing here. And um, I guess I could copy this. It kind of looks like I modified this a little bit and did not update it in here. So um, the reason I'm updating it here is because I'm actually going to share this in the description of the video for you guys. So you can just use the same thing. And... Um, so I think that's that. Oh, oh, the cron tab, cron, cron tab listings. So cron tab L. So basically, what you would say is you run as root cron tab E, puts opens up Nano in an Ubuntu instance at least, and then um, you would put the entry in there, and you can literally just type it in exactly like this wherever that shell script is for the backup arc. Mine happens to sit under home Steam backup arc, and again, zero minutes, three hour, so it's three a.m. and then all days of the week. You would hit Control -O to, sa o to save that, hit Control X, and now it installed a new cron tab, which I didn't really change anything, so that's basically it there. And um, that's essentially it. That literally backs up my Arc server every single night, and it's, as I stated in the beginning of this video, it is very beneficial, very beneficial. So, oops. Didn't want to run that. I don't know what I'm doing there, clearly. Um, what I wanted to do, though, was I thought I still had this this path here in my copy-paste. I guess not. So that's the path that Arc saved data sits in. Okay, so I think that's going to be it for this video. I uh, hope it wasn't too confusing because I kind of feel like I went all over the place there. But I'm going to go ahead and include these scripts in the description of the video. 
um, and then you can use them for your backup of your server. And uh, if you have any like ads that you want to put on there, let me know, and maybe that'd be good. I could use them in my environment. I'll share to other people as well. Um, and then obviously, you know, let me know if it saves your arc world. That'd be great to hear. All right, see you guys later.